to spend some money. I'm joking. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dele if you're new here and if you aren't new, welcome back. We are still in Miami. Um, don't pay attention to my nails. My nails are gone. That's how much of a time I had. Apparently, today Saturday is Labor Day weekend and I'm about to go to Ball Harbor. It's a mall here in Florida. And I'm just going to look around. I actually would like a new perfume. So I'm going to see if they have, um, I think it's called the Bond. Not sure which number or what the name is, but it's like a teal bottle. So I do want to see if they have that. Probably get some food and some drinks. Um, it's around 5 o'clock. So time to head out. But other than that. That's all I'm doing today. Everybody, like all of my friends have left. So I've just been chilling, trying to like get life back on track because I was going out every single day for like five days. I was wearing makeup every single day. My face has broken out. That's why I have like four moles over here, three moles over here. Like skin is, it looks good on camera, but it looks crazy in real life. But, um... I'm just wearing this two piece from Amazon. It's like the shorts and the crop top with black purse, black shoes, black shades. And that's my vibe for today. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the mall. I have to spend some money. I'm joking. I just got out the shower so relaxed I'm trying to finish editing this vlog that you're watching in addition to the vlog before this before I came to Miami so both vlogs are going to be dropping the same exact day this is my first time doing it so I'm hoping I get great engagement um but yeah I'm trying to get these vlogs done because tomorrow is Sunday tomorrow is clean up day 
like my suitcases and everything are my suitcase my clothes everything is literally everywhere tomorrow is just a cleaning day for sure oh my head is itching so fucking bad but yeah so i'm just vibing for the rest of the night i guess i'll see you guys in the morning what is up guys so it's monday um as you guys seen i was editing i'm trying to get this video complete so i can post tomorrow i'm posting two videos tomorrow um and i just made me a smoothie which is might i add really really good smoothies is like my new thing this season i feel like when you wake up make a smoothie or make something light to start the day off and i kind of feel like i've been having a more productive day when i start off the day with fruit so usually i'll do blueberries a banana peaches um what else do i put in there pineapple sometimes but today i just put blueberries bananas and then i also added this vitamin c immune system pack i know y'all seen this a million times i feel like these are really beneficial if you don't eat oranges or drink orange juice but i feel like it's very powdery and very potent like i can taste this inside of my smoothie so that shows you how potent this is but they work they also have zinc and um magnesium i think in here vitamin b electrolytes just all of this and y'all let's talk about my picture so i ended up posting my look from well one of my looks from this past weekend in miami and my picture is almost at 10k likes i don't know about y'all but 10k likes is a big deal for me because i think my av my photos normally average around 1500 likes average i would have to say 15 a thousand to 15 for sure if it's under a thousand it's kind of low for me for my page engagement but if it's above 1500 then i know it did really well i also have gained a lot of followers but let me show y'all the look the look was giving what it was supposed to give honey so if you aren't following me i'm gonna just put a picture up because this is not good quality Let's see. yeah so if you aren't following me on instagram baby make sure you follow me it's daylay.twane and i do post on my story i edit i try to edit i try to post like twice a month and me personally, I feel like I don't like to just put anything out there. I like to take time on my look, on my picture, on the scenery, the background, where I'm at. Like, I like to give an experience on my Instagram. I feel like my, my page gives an experience. You know what I mean? I don't like to just do, like, simple, basic pics. That's not really my um aesthetic i feel like everyone has their own aesthetics like some girls like to post mirror pictures their whole page is mirror pictures and they likes is like through the roof you know what i mean but it's like that's their aesthetic so find your aesthetic and go with it i personally just like to give an experience um so yeah i'm loving what the pic has done for sure the look was a long time coming i've had those pants all summer this is the first time i've worn them so it's like finally but um yeah so i'm about to make my thumbnail now for the vlog previous to this one another thing that i'm going to be doing today is well i have my little target to do list still haven't made it to target yet but normally at the end of each month i like to reflect on the previous month 
So last month was August. I reflect on the highlight of the month, the low light of the month. I also like to, um, I guess, jot down. What else do I do? Let me look. I don't even know what I do. What do I do? What the do I do? <clears throat> okay, right. So the highlight, the low light. And then each month I have a goal. So last month my goal was to get things done because I felt like I had been procrastinating. So um, as far as all of the things on my August list, I also like to just list series of events. Like what happened in August? I did this, I did that, I wasn't feeling well. What day my period came, TMI, but that's something that happened like just write down your life in August. Like I like to write my life down in August. Another reason why I like to jot down things that happen is because when I look back six months from now or even a year from now, I can look back like, oh, last August, this was happening, that was happening. I want this August to be much different. Or just so you can just live in the moment. I feel like being present is so hard to do these days. It's like everybody is just on your phone. You're recording. I'm recording on the phone and a camera. Like, I be wanting to be in the moment and live in the present life sometimes. And it's kind of hard to do. So, I'm about to get my September vibes down, written down. Um, another thing that I've just started doing is doing an affirmation for each month. So, basically, you want to manifest how your month of September is going to be. Um, I'm not going to share y'all, share with y'all my, my, um, affirmation, but, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite to cook? Um, I love it steak, seafood, pasta. So y'all, it's later on in the night. My hair is crazy looking. I took the bath too serious, but whatever. I'm trying to upload the Miami vlog that's prior to this vlog, and it's not working at all. Like, I've been trying to do this since 6 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock, and I'm over it. I'm so over it, like, I'm over it, I don't even know what to do, like, I restarted my computer twice, I shut it down a few times, I let it die, I charged it up, like, it's still at 0% uploading status, so I don't know, um, I don't know. I guess I'll just give it a little time. This is like not pee at all. Like, percent. I'm about to exit out. Cancel it. And try it again. I'm about to try this again. And it's probably going to say like 2%. Or something wild. It's still so zero percent. So annoying, y'all. So it is Sunday night. I can't remember the last time I talked to y'all. I think the last time we talked was. I don't know. But it's Sunday night. Um, my homegirl Jazz is in town. She's from Detroit as well, but she lives in Tampa. So she drove down because I've been in the house alone for like three days, three and a half, almost four days now. And I invited her to come here so we can go to dinner, catch a vibe. She also had to do an errand tomorrow anyway. So it kind of worked out. An errand here in Miami. So it worked out. Um... So yeah, we have reservations for Komodo. Komodo is kind of like a Japanese like steakhouse type of style. So that's where we're about to head. Our reservations are at 10. I ended up taking the two ponytails out and I just flat ironed 
and press my leave out to the best of my ability to the best of my ability i know it's gonna be a little humid and it's gonna poof up a bit but this should last me for a few days i haven't been doing anything anyway so honestly i didn't want to just get a whole new style for nothing and as y'all can see i still don't have any nails so i guess i'm about to do my press ons really 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 fast because it's like 9 50 no it's like 8 50 and we gotta go because we 30 minutes out so yeah this looks so real y'all and then i'm gonna tear this off like that wow i'm impressed so but was set in what five minutes less than ten minutes and I give in thank you thank you like your toes. <laughs> Other than the glue right here, yeah. I feel like I gotta work on that. What I probably should have did was just put a tad bit at the root and then, but then again, it's probably like the root and then the tick and then boom. But it's like, I still feel like they look good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So we just put up to Komodo and I'm missing two nails. Yes, I have my glasses on because I have a hard time seeing, especially at night. Oh, drop the tripod in the back seat. Thank God for you, you got I didn't I packed my nail glue, but I don't know what happened to it. Like it must have fell out. Looking crazy. Hi guys, welcome to Komodo. Hi. Can I your phone number, please? Um, Got a reservation? Uh, yes, 10.30 for jazz. Okay, okay, no problem. So hot, I might reconsider. Okay, I will send the text message the ticket number, okay? That okay, an hour you. later. No, later. no, you must pay on the way out. Okay. It's not even fitting in here. You can't scan it. No. You know what I'm doing wrong. You gonna land. You're not putting it in the wrong I'm place. inserting it in the credit card slot. <laughs> oh my no. god. You make shit so different. Hard. Anyone know what's oh sick? I didn't god. even have a drink Can or a shot or nothing. Bitch? God damn. <laughs> Tires. Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all. It's never a job moment with your girl. So this girl is talking about I'm mad aggressive. So I need to start being aggressive out here with these Miami drivers. 
these Miami drivers are so different. They no. don't care about their cars. They don't care. They must have the maximum uh, strength of car insurance. <laughs> Because they don't care about your car or their car. Like, it's crazy. They don't. No blinker. No, it's just. No blinker, though. That's a Florida thing in general. No blinker. Then you doing a honey in the 70. You doing a honey in the 50. <laughs> like, it's just crazy. It's just so. Uh, it's, just, it's just crazy. How you feel about the whole Kim and Ray J thing? None, none of my business. It's none of my oh, business. Oh, you. One more thing about the Florida drivers, y'all. They do not let you over. We're going to the same highway. We're going to the same exact... We almost probably about to get off on the same exit. Like, are you really doing this? You blocking me from getting on the freeway? It's just so petty. That's why you gotta be aggressive. It's so petty. You gotta like. be aggressive out here. They will eat your ass up on this road. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's too much. And I just realistically started not doing the speed limit at home. Like, I used to be a granny. Everybody used to call me a granny behind the wheel. But then I just started, like, pedal to the metal. Now I'm here and I need to do it. And I'm just like, mm. It's because you're not comfortable yet. I'm not. It's going to grow on me. Mm -hmm. It's going to grow on me. Red light special. Oh, kind of went away. Red light special, baby. So it's like the following day. And I have a few Detroit clients in town. So I just got to their Airbnb. Packed up all of my makeup. And it's back. I did stop at, um, where did I stop at? I stopped at Wall Target. I stopped at Target to give me like a little miniature ring light because I didn't have one. And I had to grab more lashes. I mainly brought my personal makeup stuff. So I did need a few things. But yeah, I'm about to go in here do their makeup and probably just go back to the house and chill so guys i'm back at the house um i'm about to door dash some jamaican food florida has the best jamaican food to me personally like correct me if i'm wrong if y'all got some other states out there that that's coming that's coming curry and jerk that's doing it besides Jamaica. I mean, but, but when I tell y'all, it be so good. Like, it's so good. They so quick. The food busts each and every time. They do not miss. Like, it's it's all wins, no misses. But yeah, I guess I'm about to eat my food, edit. I gotta finish doing some laundry. I'm like the worst laundry doer. Like, it's either while I'm doing laundry, the clothes, are like soggy because it gets stuck around it. Like I'm just horrible. Oh my yawning. I'm not even. I shouldn't even be tired. I slept till like two o'clock. I think today. So yeah, but I guess I'm gonna just vibe out. I mean, I'm still kind of alone right now. I don't really care for being like home alone. Being home alone is just not my thing. So kind of bored. My posture is not pee. Look at this. This is not. My posture needs to be like this. And y'all, let's talk about this stomach. Like, my stomach is so flat. Stomach is so flat. Like, O-D. O-D. Everything that we used to do, or even our parents used to do, everything is, like, coming back to society. Like, it's crazy. Like, claw clips. I remember my mom having claw clips, putting them in her hair, and I felt like it was like an old thing. You get what I'm saying? But now it's like, you know, it was kind of like an old thing back then. So I hope you all like my little claw clip. It's Sunday, and tonight is the Kevin Hart concert here in Miami. And I actually flew my mom in to come to the concert with me. It was super last minute. But I'm such a fan of Kevin Hart. Like, me and my brother, my mom is too. But, like, me and my brother used to love Kevin Hart when we were kids. So, the fact that he's here, it's about to be a whole vibe. Um, he's downtown at the American Airlines Miami Heat Stadium, I guess. This is my first time going to that stadium as well. So, it should be exciting. 
I'm out of breath because I'm about to hurry up. My mom actually um, is landing in like 30 minutes. So I'm about to rush to get her from the airport. I'm probably like 30 minutes out. So I have to hurry up and do that. It's Sunday, so it shouldn't be too, too much traffic. But it's Miami. You just never know. Um, and then I did my hair in this low ponytail. I tried my best. I don't even know how to back look. I don't even care, honestly. So for outfit, I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt from Sheen that I tied up because I had a wardrobe malfunction. Buttons came on this, but unfortunately no holes for the buttons came too. So it's just stupid. I'm wearing these jeans from um, Zara. I actually have to do my press-ons in the car. So ghetto because I don't have time. And I also forgot to mention that the um, show starts at 7. My mom lands at 6.17. So, by the time she get off the plane, it's going to be probably like 7.30. So, while I sit and wait on her, I'm going to do my press-ons. Because, like, I'm just all over the place, y'all. Like, just... I'm all over the place. So, I'm going to see y'all, Um, I guess, in the car. Or I'm going to see y'all at the show. I'm not bringing my camera in the show. But I'm going to be vlogging off my phone. So, sorry if the quality changes. trying to get to it they got me hopping on a plane <laughs> y'all this traffic not even moving we 15 minutes three lights down though like this is just stupid that's how i know the show ain't starting at seven because you got to be kidding me finally a centimeter moving up Give my mama a quick little one, two. <laughs> I hope it look good in that lightning in there because, baby, I no couldn't see. I had to use the flashlight on my phone. Hey, Layla's too. Yeah, she got a purse too. So they small bag. They small bag. Yours ain't that big. Oh. Is, she got a purse in her hand too. Valet parking, full valet permits only. I don't. You don't think we should valet, do we? I think we gotta leave our purse in here. But you got luggage back there. You got any valuables that you don't mind being stolen? No, I just got clothes in there. With my purse, I'm gonna have to take my purse out. But it's like, do we really want to wait on valet after a show? We don't. We don't. I don't. Back at the house, um, the Kevin Hart show was really nice. Oh, I'm eating a Jamaican that um, I told y'all about last time, but I never, I was too greedy to actually show y'all the food. But this is the food. I know it looks crazy, but it's so good. But yeah, so we get to the show and they're basically saying how we gotta give our phones up and put them in like a, it's like a it's like a lock pouch i'm gonna put like a picture my mom took a picture of it but it's like a lock pouch and you basically lock your phone in there up until you leave when you leave and go go outside and exit the building it's people out there to remove your phone off the lock thing yeah we just left the show and they made us put our phones in this thing the whole entire time like we literally just got out and people are like getting their phones a lot from the thing. Like, this is not even a game. Look at my mama on her phone. Ma, you missed your phone? No. <laughs> so, we didn't really know about that until we got inside. Get inside, it was no cash, all card. Had to get gift cards. Just to buy food and beverages. Um, and then we also thinking... Cause when they took our phones they was like yeah once you reach a certain point remember that once you reach a certain point he you can get your phone out the thing we like okay cool like i'm thinking once we get food and drinks and sit down they may give us our phone or halfway through the show they may give us our, i don't know none of that happened literally had to wait until after the show like I said, we walked outside, got our phones unlocked, got the thing. But overall, the show was really good. 
Um, it was for sure funny. I wasn't crying laughing. I feel like I was more so starstruck. You get what I'm saying? I was more so in the moment. Like, oh my gosh, Kevin Hart. Like, yeah. It was like a starstruck type of moment. And I'm not like a starstruck type of girl. Don't get me wrong. But it's certain people that have me like, dang, like, I'm actually seeing this person. I'm actually experiencing this firsthand. Like, it's crazy. So tonight was one of those moments for me. It was fun. It was a vibe. Ma, how did you, what you think? The show was very interesting. <laughs> I was kind of shocked too. You got Kevin Hart. Because I'm used to looking at him on TV. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, our seats were actually really good. So that's why I'm like, dang, we can't even record nothing. Like, if we right here, seats was good. Like, It would have got some good stuff. It would have. I tried to show y'all, but y'all had to be there to believe I it. But once I got some memory. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. And couldn't, he couldn't take nothing. I said, right on the plane, deleting stuff that I didn't need. <laughs> <laughs> you just get here. You can't even post. Just bold. I deleted like a thousand pictures off. Your plane ride was kind of long, so you had never yeah. time. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. So bold. But I feel like... I mean, basically, his logic with the no phones was just to live in the moment. And he was saying... Because Kevin Hart always got a message with his comedies. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but... The message was basically like, live in the moment. The older you get, the more you're supposed to change for the better. And that's just where we was at with it tonight. Y'all was that. Y'all was that. Only souvenir we got <laughs> is these digital tickets on my phone. I <laughs> see. And I'm also wondering, like, was it just a Miami thing? Was this an all around tour thing? Oh, did he do that in Vegas? If you want to attack a hard show anywhere, comment down below. A plane ride was well worth it. <laughs> Running yes. through the airport like OJ. Me and Mama just came back from the Kevin Hart show. We wanted to tell you how it was because he made us lock our phones up. It was no phones in there. Ain't that crazy? So I went to something like that. Hey, huh? The next job went to something like that. We didn't know till we got there. We had no clue. Hey, dude. What's going on? <laughs> dude, that's I how you greet your mother? Yeah, that's how you greet your mother? <laughs> What's dude, going on? You said, <laughs> you said what? Yo, I was coming in the door. What are you doing? You were, see, that's what we just got to talk about. I see your headboard. You're laying down. What would you be doing? It always looks like I'm laying down to this entire <laughs> world. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on my car, you see that gray headboard. Like, Were you at your home office in that bed? <laughs> yes, my home office is in the bed. <laughs> Something came over me to say to y'all. I just want to challenge y'all to spend more time with your parents. Spend more time with your elders you know what i'm saying i feel like tonight easily was going to be like a date night but i feel like the fact that it wasn't it turned into mom and daughter type of bond vibe and i actually really really loved it and it actually happened mysteriously it was not even planned it was last minute like she just got here today i booked her flight last night it's nice to sometimes give your parents the treatment that they used to give you when you were a kid you know um, and I feel like I don't have kids yet too, so it's kind of like easier said than done. I feel like if you have kids, like that's majority of your focus, so it's kind of like when you have time, you have time. But that's that. And y'all, I got in the shower and everything, forgot to take my makeup off. 
Like, I'm horrible when it comes to removing makeup and just, but I don't have no choice because it's a white bed spread, white everything in this bed. So, I'm the worst. So, I guess I'm going to get my makeup wipes in a minute, but I'm about to edit and go to sleep. Um, I had some wine tonight. I had some Cabernet. I love Cabernet. It's so dry though. It's super. It's probably the driest red, in my opinion, because my lips be like super duper charcoal, black, and purple. Like it stains my lips so bad. When I got here, I had to rub my lips with the red, a wet rag in order to get it back to the normal color. It was just so stained. <laughs> At the car wash, wrap around is coming apart. So loud, but it's raining off and on because it's hurricane season. I really hope y'all can hear me honestly, but I was trying to say that it's raining off and on because it's hurricane season now. But I'm getting a car wash, and then I'm probably gonna go get my nails and feet done. I don't know. I'm tired of looking like this. Giving very much the help. I got my mama watching vlogs. I'm trying to get caught up on people vlogs. And <laughs> she's talking about everybody. Literally. <laughs> everybody she's talking about. Oh my God. I can't. I absolutely can't. But. <laughs> But I ended up getting my nails and feet done. I got like a really muted nude. If you're focused on me, come on. I got this really muted nude color. Like it, it basically looks like my actual. What y'all doing? I'm trying to show y'all my nail. Okay, yeah, so this is the nude I got, like the muted nude. Something very chill. I really got an overlay. I didn't even really get tips, but I just wanted something chill Um, for now. I did want to get like a darker color, but I'm just like, I'm going to wait till next month because next month either I'm going to do like a gray or I'm going to do a black. <clears throat> One two. Can you have me another ice cream bar? I'm, I'm milking it. Y'all, it's probably like my last, second to last day of this cycle, TMI. But your girl go, I need some ice cream every month. You should see it. It's a white box. Every single month, I need chocolate. I need ice cream. I need very much something. Like, yogurt and fruit don't even do it right now. Like... It's not enough sweetness. It's just not enough sugary substance for me. So, so this is the brand I love. I would have showed y'all the box, but it's all over there. But um, I don't eat any dairy, so no cheese, no cow's milk, basically. So these are alternatives. This brand has cashew milk, coconut milk and almond milk so I have the almond kind and yeah they bussing bussing this is this is my second one it comes four in a pack which y'all need to do that yeah here's how it looks it has almonds and chocolate oh my gosh y'all Publix so good. Mm -mm -mm. We're watching um, Little Wayne's daughter, Regine. 
I forgot to show y'all my flowers I got last week. Oh, now they're dying. <laughs> you see it? You see it spaced out. <laughs> no. God. Do you see her lash spaced out? Why did they put that on? Well, that's how it's supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> my mama is so funny. She find everything to say something. <laughs> Y'all know how kids just say what come to mind. That's her. The beach was so like refreshing today. It's been raining legit for like almost two weeks here in Florida. It's hurricane season. It rains off and on. The sun is like shy to come out. Like it's just not pee. So today was one of the first days in a while that the sun was out and it was nice. So I was like, oh, we definitely got to go to the beach. Like. I was just going to go to the pool, but I'm like, oh, no, we have to go to the beach. Today was also my papa's birthday. He passed away two years ago. Um, Rest in peace, Papa Charlie B. Um, yeah, so I felt like it was just nice to get my mom, like, out of the house. That kind of sums up the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm super excited for this season. Fall is my favorite season. We're so close to the holidays. So close to like the new year. Like this is crazy. Time has really just zoomed. Like 2022, where did you even go? Seriously. <laughs>